from Paramount Pictures in Hollywood. It's the Tom Likas Show. Oh, God. And now, and now, here he is, Tom Likas. Thank you for tuning in to the Tom Likas Show. This is where America gets together to talk about the issues you really care about. It's a different kind of a radio talk program. We're the radio talk show that is not hosted by a right-wing wacko or a convicted felon. No! I am your host. Write down our toll-free telephone number. You're going to need it. It's 1-800-5800-TOP. 1-800-5800-866. Thank you for tuning in. Thanks for being part of our program. Here we are together again on the radio. And can we settle something once and for all, once and for all? I mean, I have a three-line email in front of me, and I'm aghast because I thought we settled this matter a long time ago. So in this hour, we're going to settle it once and for all. It is from a listener named DJ. And DJ writes it and says the following. Tom, my girlfriend told me over the weekend that she wanted to have a baby. This was after many shots of Jack Daniels. Which, by the way, is always great if you're thinking about getting pregnant. He says, I've been with her for two years. Why do you have a girlfriend again? He says, should I pull the plug? I need your advice. What should I do? And it's I, DJ. DJ lives in Orange County. DJ. DJ. First of all, I don't know why you have a girlfriend. You don't need a girlfriend. Can't you just have sex with as many women as you can possibly fit into the schedule? This is what you should be doing. You're a young man, DJ, and this is what you should be doing. Having a girlfriend screws up the system. And then these women get ideas like your girlfriend is getting. All things are going so well with you, now she wants to have your baby. If your girlfriend wasn't your girlfriend and she was just a girl who didn't think you gave a rat's ass about her, if you just moved in and moved out, you know, did her and then didn't see her again for a few weeks or a couple of months, used a condom every time, the odds that she'd sit there having these weepy, drunken conversations about having babies would be reduced dramatically. Let me make this clear. From my perspective, when the woman you're having sex with tells you that she wants to have a baby, she's just helped you to do what you can't do for yourself. She has given you an exit ramp. You know, like an exit ramp from the freeway. She's given you an exit ramp. When the woman you're having sex with tells you she wants to have a baby, run. Run in the other direction. No one last time for old time's sake. No final weekends together. No rodeo sex. Nothing. When she tells you she wants to have a baby, it's manna from heaven for you. This is incredible luck for you. Because you know what? Many women don't even tell you when they want to have a baby. They just do it. They get you to feel comfortable. They get you to feel confident. They get you to ride bareback. And you know what I mean by bareback. 
no condoms. And then, oopsie, they forget to take their birth control. They forget to use birth control. And suddenly you find out you're going to have a baby you had no interest in having in the first place. You are lucky when a woman says, I want to have a baby. You're lucky. Because you have a chance to leave before it actually happens. She's telegraphing to you not what she wants. She's telling you what she's going to do. She's telling you she wants to have a baby and she'd like you to feel good about it. If you tell her you don't feel good about it and you continue dating her, you continue having sex with her, she will quote unquote accidentally get pregnant. That is what is going to happen. I can't stress this enough. When a woman tells you she wants to have a baby, that's the day you stop seeing her. You don't wait a week, a month, or a year. You don't wait a weekend. You don't have dinner one last time and then sex one last time because that is when these women get pregnant. That's when it happens. Time to go, DJ. I mean, honestly speaking, now that you've heard the parade of losers, slackers, stoners, and others who end up dropping out of high school or dropping out of college or dropping out of community college or dropping out of DeVry Technical Institute or the University of Phoenix or whatever because they knocked up their girlfriends and, or their wives in some cases and then you have seen what happens down the line. Is there any question about this? Is there any reason why a young man would want to have a baby? I don't care how much Jack Daniels you had to drink. Is there any reason somebody like DJ would want to consider continuing with a woman like this? You tell me. Tom Likas. 1-800-5800-TOM. You are just almost unbearable. You know that? You're so pig-headed. The Tom Likas Show. The Tom Likas Show, 1-800-5800-TOM, is our telephone number. And I thought we settled this. I mean, is there any reason to write into the Tom Likas Show for advice? When well, your girlfriend says she wants to have a baby, it's time to go. Right? Right? 1-800-5800-866. It's Paul on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, what's going on, Pop? Not much, son. I just want to, uh, I just want to stress to these guys the importance, uh, of, of making sure you take care of this on time and get out as soon as you see the sign. Uh, you guys gotta understand that once it happens, everything is too late. Aside from the Hail Mary, you have nothing. D DJ got a gift here. He got I mean, a gift. This is like the exit sign next to the other sign that says freeway ends in one mile. So you better get out while you can. I mean, I can't believe somebody would think there's even a question or that you would need to write in for advice. What question is there? DJ, is there any doubt? What doubt would there be? I mean, we covered this last week, Pop. I, well, we've covered it repeatedly. And I still get letters like this. This letter was sent this morning at 9.53. Unbelievable. I mean, how many times can I say the same thing? I, I, am I not getting the message across? Is there any doubt that what I'm saying is right? Especially the uh, the thought of one more night or, uh, you know, one more date or the rodeo thing. I mean, that's just one more night as opposed to 18 years of heartache. Because uh, these friggin' morons who call in and write in, they're little romantics, you know. They, they've never gotten a chick to spread her legs before or she's the hottest piece of ass they've ever had. And they fall in love just because they're so horny and they need sex and they don't realize you can just have sex. You don't have to love everybody. You don't have to take them to the prom. You don't have to say, oh, you're my girlfriend and I love you. Just have sex. Uh, young girls are hooking up at, at remarkable rates. It's unbelievable. There have been magazine articles about it, cover stories about this. Young girls want to hook up like guys. Take full advantage of this. Exactly. Jump on it. Can you blow me up, Pop? Of course I can. 
1-800-5800-TOM is our weird telephone number. Aubrey on the top like is show hello. Tom, it's great to talk to you. First time, long time. Thank you. And DJ is an idiot. People have to have licenses to get drive. People have to have licenses to get married. People should have to have licenses to have children. It's ridiculous. People are bringing p- kids into this world that are just not wanted, and it's ridiculous. DJ has an out, and he should take it. it take it and run. Take it and run fast. Exactly. I mean, these guys, you're right about the girls hooking up at young ages. I mean, it doesn't make any sense. Guys need to take full advantage of these young sluts. That's right. <laughs> I mean, they, here's like, what they say. I mean, I read all the articles. It, it's been a cover story in many magazines. Uh-huh. And I read these stories, and it pretty much always does the same thing. They're always interviewing some young girl out there, and she's saying, if guys could do it, girls could do it. Exactly. I'm just looking to hook up. Fantastic. What Guys, what more do you need to know? It doesn't make any sense to me, Tom, and I agree with so much of what you say, and especially this one, because, you know, if this guy's young and he just wants to... Derek, you, gotta, you can't use that word, of course, sorry, I'm on sorry. the radio. And it does look like, you know, these girls want to hook up, so they need to take advantage of it. It doesn't make any sense to me. I'm married, but, you know, I found a good guy, but I would never want to jeopardize some guy's life for a baby. I mean, come on. Most women, most women do. All right, it's so good to talk to you, Tom. I've been wanting to call in for the longest time, but will you take me out at Kobe style? Kobe style. Here you go. Oh. Oh. This is about us. Oh. She's so special to me. Oh. Yeah, it beats in my heart. Oh. Yeah, the air I breathe. Oh. She's so special to me. Oh. It's 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. This is Dee Dee on the Tom Liger Show. Your last name isn't Cup, is it? Hello? Hi. Hi. Hi, Tom. Miss Cup, go ahead. I just, well, first and foremost, like, um, I ended up listening to you because one of my friends that I actually carpool with, he always makes me listen to your show. And I have to be honest, in the beginning, I was really, I, I didn't agree with everything that you said. But some of the actual um, little programs that you have, um, I actually really respect what you do. Thank you. And I thought I'd call in and tell you that. But, I mean, again, you and I have different opinions on certain uh, subjects. One of them happens to be about children and how get, how men should should run before they have children with women. Why do you disagree? Because, I mean, we're human beings, and one of our instincts is to procreate. Well, yeah, we, the, we have all the... kinds of instincts. Uh, some people have instincts <laughs> to slit their wrists or jump off a building. I mean, the fact that you have an instinct to do something doesn't make it right. But don't you For like example, let me give you another instinct, Dee. Uh, yeah. This is an instinct that I'm not, I'm not being facetious. It's a man <laughs> instinct to F every woman he sees who looks hot. Okay. So let's say you're married. Should okay. men do what their instincts tell them to do? Most of the times, no. What do you mean most of the times, no? You just said that it'd be a, people should have babies because it's a human instinct. Mm-hmm. So so then, of course, if we're going to go with our instincts on everything, that means if I get married, but I see a hot chick on the beach, I uh-huh. should be able to go over and do what my instincts tell me to do, which is to uh, insert my seed into as many women as possible. That is a biological instinct. So exactly. you're saying that I should do that. Uh-huh. Uh, so if I'm married and I see hot chicks in bikinis, I should go over there, and if they're okay with me pulling their thongs down and, and me getting in there, that's okay with you. Well, I feel that, okay, personally, I don't believe in, in men getting, or men or women in general getting married before they're, they're ready. I feel that if you still need to be able to, you know, go out and do your thing, that's fine. Go ahead and do it. But once you're ready to, you know, settle down, because most people end up, you know, around whatever age that they feel that they're ready to be, you know, settled with one person. But that just because they feel they're ready to do something doesn't mean they are. As I use the example on the air all the time, when I was 12, I felt I was ready to drive a fire truck. Okay. Now, now, the, uh, the course I I could didn't even have a driver's license, much less a license to drive a truck. Mm-hmm. But I felt I was ready. Now, if I feel I'm ready, should I be able to do that? 
Well, there's laws. I mean, you can't. You can't well, but, that, 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 but the point days. is, the laws are there for a good reason. Mm-hmm. Just we ought to have. People. We really ought to have laws to to protect people from themselves and not let them get married before age twenty five because they are simply not ready. And there has exactly. been recent there has been recent scientific research that shows that your brain isn't done growing until you're age twenty five. That you are not capable of making many major life decisions intelligently until you're age twenty five. Mm-hmm. Uh, you I know, agree. if you're all okay, good. So if if yeah, this if this guy. And I don't understand, like, why are you trapping the men before they're ready? I don't feel that men are, should be, or most likely aren't ready. So if you're, if a guy time. writes in and says he and his girlfriend were drinking Jack Daniels, mm-hmm. and when they got drunk, his girlfriend said she wants to have a baby. This is not somebody saying, I want to get married. I want to settle down. I want to marry you because you're the love of my life. This is a woman who wants to get knocked up. Yeah, I don't understand that. And I don't so, and children. so, when a woman says what the, what she said to DJ, DJ should run, right? Yes, absolutely. Okay. That's, I don't, I, I don't even like children, but that's just me. But I feel that you know people should have children when they're ready. I mean, it shouldn't be like, hey, let's just have a child. Have a child. Like, I mean, in my head, it won't. It doesn't make sense. I, that's why I called it. Well, I don't good. Understand. I think people should procreate. I think people should, you know, have children, but not in, under those different circumstances. If I never hear the term baby mama again, it won't be too soon. I, I can't believe <laughs> the illiteracy and the ignorance. And I don't care what color you are, because every people of every color are using that phrase now. I, it did just I, indicates I it indicates trailer trash. Not you, but people. No, no, I don't. I don't. I mean, no. if people are going to have children. Uh-huh. They should have money in the bank. Uh-huh. They should plan on being with the person they're going to be with forever. And on top of that, they should be with the person a minimum of five years so they have an idea of whether they can stand each other 24-7. Yeah. And if they can't, they should leave without having babies. That is responsible behavior. I agree. I don't, I'm not particularly agreeing about the whole five years. And people are going, really there, there are course, people who are but. going to procreate. Now, those who procreate are not going to live the same rich lives that people like me who don't procreate are going to live. You have to make sacrifices. Absolutely. But if you, you if, unselfish. Well, uh, well, but no, I don't agree with that because people have children for the same selfish reasons that people don't have children. Everybody does what's good for themselves. And and people have babies. People don't have babies because the world needs one more person named Jones or Smith. And they don't have babies because they're trying to help America. People have babies because they want to see if the baby's as good looking as they are. Or if the baby will be as smart as they are. Or because they can raise that little being and mold him into something because we have the most the greatest morals, the greatest morality, and we're the smartest and we make the most sense and we can raise little people to become big people. And this is all just one big ego trip. Everybody does what is in their own selfish, self centered best interest. Having children, not having children. But I mean, like, if you have children, you have to sacrifice so much. And yes, you have to sacrifice. Yes, you do. And it's, it's some, sometimes it's like you don't you want to sleep, but you have to wake up and you know feed the baby. It's crying, and that t- it's to me that. And and your healthy. sex life dies, and you don't sleep, and your finances go to hell, and and and. So if you want to have a baby, yes, you have to sacrifice. I wanted to be in the radio business. Did I want to live in Stanton, Virginia, or Albany, New York? No. But I went and did that so I could be successful. I sacrificed, and now I have the benefits. Do you have children? Nope. You have no children? By design. Okay. I'm child-free. Okay. Not childless. I enjoy my life immensely. You know know what my biggest concern in life is in the next uh, couple of months? Where do I go on vacation? With all the vacation time I have and all the money I have, I can't decide where to go. I have a villa in Costa Rica I'm considering, a okay. trip to Burgundy, Burgundy France. Mm-hmm. In late September, uh, right after the beginning of fall, I'm going to London, England. Um, I, 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 I can't decide on all the great places in the world I want to go. That's my biggest problem in life right now. But don't you, I just had a curiosity, because I mean... I started listening to you about two months ago, and honest to goodness, you're very opinionated, so am I. 
And it's good to, I, I want to get to know, like, a little bit about you because I don't really know much. I just know that, okay, now I know you don't have children. Don't you think that when you're about 60 or 70, don't you want to see grandchildren? Cause, no. No? No. Okay. Well, why, why, why would I want that? Well, it's your extension of you. But that's my point. I don't have that kind of ego. You're not fascinated with a, ch a little being that you might be able to hold on your lap and open presents with, or anything like that. Like I have a nephew. Okay I have a I, mean, I have like, a nephew that I do that with. Okay. And, and then you can leave, send him home. <laughs> I can send him home. Okay. When he needed to learn how to wipe his ass, my brother and his wife took him home and did that. Okay. But I didn't have to do it. I see. So I get the benefits that you talk about okay. of talking to my nephew on the holidays, sending him gifts, coming to see him, spending time at his house, but I don't have any of the responsibilities. Oh, okay. It's like the difference between leasing and buying. Wow, great analogy. <laughs> you, and and, and well, you want to know the bonus? You talk about a little being that looks like me. This kid, who is my brother's son, uh -huh. he looks like me when I was six. <laughs> okay. But but guess what? He's not me. He's not my son. He's my brother's son. I see. He's, he's wonderful, and I think he's fantastic. And I, my brother is fantastic and all that. But I don't want to take the time and responsibility necessary to raise a child. And uh, that the, the children of the world are lucky that I sat down and thought about this rather than sitting and having Jack Daniels with DJ's girlfriend and while I'm drunk making a stupid life decision. Well, that's, well, that's a very interesting viewpoint. It's, and it's hard to argue with, isn't it? Well, it's because it's what you want. It's not a, it's, other people have different wants. Like me and my boyfriend have a huge difference of opinions. My boyfriend... He comes from a huge family. He wants at least two or three children. I only want one. I, I'm a single child, and I just, I don't, I can't, I can't handle children. Well, I, maybe, I, maybe you're not going to be able to continue as a couple. Well, he, he and I, we're, we're discussing our options, and I'm, I still have a lot of time. I'm not, I'm not getting married for at least six more years. I well, I, I, honestly, school. at 21 and being in school, I don't know why you have a boyfriend, why you aren't free to date. <laughs> I don't get it. I don't, honestly, Tom, I, I listen to some of the things that you say, and you, I, I remember you talking about how, why why would a person want to be in a relationship at such a young age, and I don't want to be with anybody else. I try to do I know what can. you're saying, but women like you, <laughs> when you're 35 or 37 or 41, you're going to be on Match.com. No. Yes, you are. It's gonna no, say it's gonna say divorced, two kids, looking for a friend who likes to cuddle. Yeah. That's gonna be you, because yes, but, no, okay, because, so because you're doing this so early, and eventually, the idea of going out and socializing, you're going to finally realize that that is something that you want to do. Maybe you don't know how to do it, or maybe you haven't had a lot of experience doing it, so therefore you don't want to do it. But at some point, you're gonna wonder what you missed out on. If you want to see your future there, go to Match.com or whatever the Yahoo's Personals page is or JDate. Go see what your future looks like because that's it. But, I I mean, honest to goodness, Tom, if you, if you want to come down to the bottom of it, like, I guess one of my – I have, like, a lot of, like, really, really nice guy friends. And I just – they, they all want to have sex with you. Well, they're and that's that's like the list you. of guys that you are not attracted to. Exactly. Now, see, isn't that, my God, that's why I would never want to be a friend of a woman, ever. Because guy friends are all the men she isn't attracted to. <laughs> and I, I mean, would I'm say, if you're not attracted to me, why do I need to waste my time talking to you? But, I mean, don't you have girlfriends just like one of the guys that you hang out with? One woman slipped through, for who I knew as kind of, I was her mentor in the radio business. Uh -huh. But other than that, no. No. I got friends. If you I need, had one girlfriend. If I, no, you know what? Mm -hmm. I got guy friends. I got guy friends. Yeah. And it's not the kind of guy friends that, that women have under false pretenses. All women want to sleep with you. 
all all men who want to sleep with you, and you kind of have that unspoken tension there all the time. Mm -hmm. Ugh. <laughs> who wants that? Well, I can't. Honest to goodness, I can't get along with girls. I I just yeah. It, well, not in a way. I don't I like doing the same thing that they like doing. Well, great. If I'm your boyfriend, I feel very nervous about that concept. Yeah, I know. He comes along with me. Yeah, <laughs> sometimes. No, and, and to hang out with all the guys who want to have sex with you. Think about how sick this is if you really analyze it. Your boyfriend hangs out with you and the guys who want to have sex with you. <laughs> well, they're all his guy friends then. It's, it's really fun. I, I mean, this weekend... He's a pussy. He's, if that's true, he's a complete pussy. It's his friends, and I'm hanging out with all of him and his friends. So his friends became your friends? So you had no exactly. friends. till you met your boyfriend, you had no friends. That's also trouble. No, I had friends. I just, you know, my, 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 my guy friends didn't get along with my boyfriend, so. Uh, yeah, and why is that? My my boy, my friends are very, like, big gentlemen. No, no, wrong, really wrong. You're, you're, <laughs> you're so 21 years older. Uh, the reason your guy friends don't get along with your boyfriend is because they all want to have sex with you, and he's the one who has sex with you. Can't you see yeah. that? Yeah, it makes sense. Yeah, well, that's the reason. There are no other reasons. Okay. Your guy friends only talk to your boyfriend because it's the price of admission to talk to you. And if they can talk to you without him around, that's what they would prefer. And they're circling like buzzards, waiting for the two of you to have an argument. Does that really sound like a friendship to you? They are great friends. Yeah, I'm sure they are. Let me give you another example, dear. Okay. Let, let's say you won the lottery. Okay. And the, the, the jackpot's $100 million. Okay. Now you've got a bunch of new friends. Oh, of course. Who only want to be your friend because you have $100 million. Are they your friends? No. All right. So let's take this back to uh, the friendship issue. You've got a bunch of guy friends, uh -huh. all of whom are your friends because they want to see your vagina. They want you because you've got a vagina. Okay. Are they your friends? The thing is, I've been friends with them since childhood before. I don't care. Theory. They. That, guess what? The minute you were ready to give it up, they were ready to take it. True. Yeah, I can see that. So are they really your friends? I think they are. Yeah, no, no. no but the, why, would, why would they not be your friends if it was $100 million instead of a vagina? I, <laughs> I told myself when I came on the show, I would have let you put me in a corner. You did. Yep. Damn straight I did, dear. Who's it? Tom Likas. Tom Likas. 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 We all like to party on the Tom Likas show. You do not go out and bang our wives, oh, sisters, or our girlfriend's right. sisters on the Tom Likas show. We don't do it. No matter how much we party, we know better. It's the Tom Likas show. It's Tom Likas show from Hollywood. At 1 800 5 800 Tom. This all started with an email from a listener named DJ. DJ wrote in and said, My girlfriend told me over the weekend that she wanted to have a baby. This was after many shots of Jack Daniels. I've been with her for two years. Should I pull the plug? I need your advice. What should I do? And my response to DJ is, are you still asking this question after all this time? Is there any question when a woman says, I want a baby, it's time to run. Run, not walk, run. 1-800-5-800-TOM is our telephone number. It's John on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Dad. Son. I love you, Dad. Uh, long time, second time. Okay, I got a comment on this VJ guy. I think he's a complete moron. He's an a-hole, and he should run the hell out now. I mean, what, what's wrong with this guy? I mean, look at this idiot, you know? He's all talking about, he's just basically wasting your time, Tom, and I'm sick of hearing these idiots call in like this and find out, oh, should I run, should I stay? It's common sense, week after week, day after day, that's all you talk about. Well, these you guys know? are goddamn drama queens, right? What should I do? What should yeah, I exactly. do? It's like, you know, 
the, the girl's all, you know, the girl's not stupid. I'm sure she was drunk, but she knows what the hell she's talking about. She's probably thinking, oh, look, I got another sucker. If I could milk this one, you know, hey, why not? You know, get some child support out of them. You know, you guys listening out there, if there's some girl that's asking you if they want to have a kid with you, do what Tom says. Run the hell out. Unless you're 80 years old or something, then you have, you know, you can't use your, you know, what anymore. Exactly. And even then. Exactly. And I mean, look at this, Tom. I got, I got a flight attendant that's coming in next week. Uh, she's coming in for a good time. I mean, you know, she's coming in for business or whatever, but hey, that's what I love. You come in, you come out. Hey, no problem there, right, Tom? He's coming in for a landing. He's coming in for a landing, and I'll, I'll give her a nice little landing strip. <laughs> Well, thanks a lot, Tom. Can you blow me up? Of course I can. Hopefully she'll have a nice little landing strip. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. Edgar on the Tom Likas show. Hello. How you doing, Tom? Doing great. Uh, first time uh, calling. Uh, I've been listening to you for like the last three months now, and uh, I think you're a god, Tom. Thank you, Edgar. All right. And, uh, well, just wanted to say, you know, the guy who uh, wanted to have the baby or his girlfriend wanted him to give him a baby, give her a baby, he's an idiot. You know? Uh, well, for, he's an idiot if he stays one second longer than it takes me to finish this sentence. Exactly, because Tom... So now he's an idiot. Same, I talked to Bo about the same thing happened to me. I messed around with this chick about a year ago, and, uh, you know, first started out, everything was good. She loved to have sex everywhere, nice girl. Didn't have to spend money with her, you know. And then one day she just uh, came out with, hey, I want to have a baby, but it's okay. You don't have to be stick around, I said. You know, I thought about it. And then I said, what the hell am I doing? I'm 22 years old, you know, I don't want to end up with something like that. So I just, you know, never called her again. Yep. I just walked the other way. And I think with this guy, you know, he should just, I mean, if he wants to be stuck, if he wants to be, you know, miserable the rest of his life with a kid who may even grow up to hate him because that's probably going to happen. She's going to tell him, you know, he's a bad guy. He's never around, you know, blah, blah, blah. I just think this guy should just walk away, man. I did it. Hey, I'm happy. No, I, I don't think, think he should. I don't think he should walk away. I think he should run away. Exactly. Get him a car and just drive away. <laughs> 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. Becky on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hello. Hello, Becky. I'm calling because, like, I just want to know like, what happened to everybody's nuts. I mean, if people, if you could just say if you meet somebody, you start to date, why, where's the discussion on what everybody puts life, period? Because then how do you know if the person you're with, whether within a month or a year, is going to work out? If you don't have the same goals, the same plans, you know, if if you're with, like, this last dude, if, I mean, if you're with a girl and she's been two years and she wants to have kids, well, didn't you know within, like, a month of dating her that she was going to want kids at some point? And if that's not for you, then there's no reason to date somebody like that. I agree with you. I mean, I think it's ridiculous. I think there'd be so many more happy couples out there if people were just state what they like and what they don't like if you know if you got a woman who nags then obviously that ain't the one for you you don't take it just because you want to yeah well, that's the thing i don't understand you know what when and by the way uh my attitude is when people complain about me i tell them i'm not the guy for you and what is amazing to me is the number of women who stay around after complaining like that so i'll tell them i don't want to hear your complaints no nagging and if these are really bad things about me that you can't live with, time for you to go. Exactly. They they almost never do. It, it, it is true because, you know, it's, I think nobody really understands it. It's not a matter of right and wrong. There is no really right or wrong. It's all a matter of opinion. And if that's what your life is, you know, doing the way you want to do things, it makes you happy, then that's right for you. But in every case, women either, it's women or men, they're with people who treat them like crap or they don't give them what they need or they don't make enough money or they don't do something. But, like, shouldn't you find that out, like, within the first week? Why waste time? Have fun with all the wrong ones and then, you know, get serious with the right one, the one who's got the same plan you do, you know? Well, that's why so many people should be just hitting it and quitting it, you know what I'm saying? Carlos on the Tom Likas show, hello. Hey, it's Carlos. I know, I just said that. How you doing, Tom? How you doing? I'm um, excellent, man. Great. 
Uh, I just want to say one thing. I mean, you have all these guys totally, I think it's insecurity that drives them to say yes to getting a woman pregnant. I mean, do they know what they're getting into? Totally. No, they don't. And I think a lot of them just, you know, they're getting a nice piece of ass. They want to keep getting it on a regular basis. I mean, uh, women think there's some kind of romance going on here. If only they knew the thought process that appears to go into it from a lot of these guys. It uh, seems to be, uh, well, you know, she's a hot girl, Tom. She's really hot. And, you know, I want to keep getting it. That, that's pretty much the thinking that goes into it. Well, yeah, you, it's okay to let your thing run the show, but you have to tell it how to. You can't let it just do it by itself because then you're screwed. I, I agree with you, Carlos. Megan on the top like his show. Hello. Hey. Hey. Um, I was just calling because I'm so tired about hearing about these sluts out there having two, three kids. They got two, three different dads. I, I have kids myself, but I've been with my husband for a very long time. All my kids are by one man. And I don't understand why people act like having a kid is no big deal. Oh, I just want to have a kid. doesn't matter if you stick around or if you don't. That's, I think it's just so ignorant nowadays. And the kids are the ones that are suffering. You know, they're the ones that are suffering. This oh, was, do, you, do you think the vast majority of people could care less about the children they're creating? See, and that's, that's why did you have them? Why? Because you thought homeboy would stick around if you had a kid? That don't, that don't mean anything. He's still going to watch how many single moms are out there. Well, it's like I've told women, if you get pregnant, I will definitely walk. I mean, don't try having a baby to keep me in the relationship. That is a guarantee that I will be gone. Guarantee. If, if this guy wrote you this email, that means he doesn't want to have a kid. And she gave him, she's firing a warning shot. Why does, I mean, does he want to get hit with the bullet? I mean, what? Eventually, he's going to quit using condoms. She's not going to be using birth control because she's telling him straight out. She wants to have a kid, you know? And if he stays, you're going to get her pregnant. Duh. Because that's what she wants. And guys are going to be guys. They're going to give it up. And if a guy is stupid enough to believe that when a girl says, it's okay, I take care of myself, he then it's on him whether she gets pregnant or not. Then he deserves what, she, what, what ends up happening. I, I mean, agree with you. I just, I just think it's so stupid nowadays. All these girls want to have kids. I don't know how many people I know that have two, three, four, five kids. And they got different dads for all of them. You know, how... How do you think you're going to support these kids? The dads don't care. They don't want to have nothing to do with these ladies. And then the new guys that come around, do you really think they're going to stick around? Because they already see your track record of being a hoe. You know, you're a hoe. That's you. The minute you have more than one kid by more than one dad, you people look at you and say, you're a hoe. No one wants you anymore. Well, I don't know if you're a hoe bag so much as you're just all used up. I, I think that if a woman has to... If a woman has to use a baby to get a man to think that he's going to stay around for that or to support her, to take care of her, whatever, it is the reason that she's having that kid. I just think you're ignorant. And the woman gets what she deserves. And so does the guy. Well, the, there's the just woman, a lot of ignorance to go around, it sounds like to me. one 800 800 tom John on the Tom Like His Show. Hello. Hello, Tom. Hello, John. How you doing? Great. Boy, do I have a story for you. Listen, I, um, I was 21 at the time, and uh, I was dating this girl while I was in school. And uh, we're sitting watching TV one night. I was about, about a year and a half into the relationship, and she brings a question. She wants to have a baby. I was like, are you, are you serious? I'm in school. I'm working. You're working, too. How are we going to have a baby? She says she really wants a baby. The next morning, I wake up around 4 o'clock in the morning, grab all my... I'm sorry. And uh, I, get out of, I get out of the house, you know? I was, that, I was and that's up. what I mean, you're was, supposed was, to do, for Christ's sake. Get the hell out of the house. Shouldn't be living with her anyway. Our email address is my name. It's Tom at blowmeuptom.com. You got that? Tom at blowmeuptom.com. The Tom Likas Show.